pillows. How are you today? Okay, we've got El Toro. We're in the key of E minor, G major. Okay, um, and I think as I've played through this, the thing that I personally messed up the most on is you have F naturals at the beginning, but because you're in E minor, you actually have quite a few F sharps you gotta worry about. So uh, make sure you can distinguish between the two. In your music, it says a dotted half note is 60 beats per minute. You're like, well, why not a quarter note? So that's what this means. If I push play on the metronome, 60 beats per minute, you're thinking in three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, da, di, ga, da, ga, da, 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 di, ga, da, ga, da, 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 that's all that means. But if you look later on in the piece, you have some tempo changes, starting at around 53, 54-ish, then 55 and 56 are a flex tempo, it depends on what the soloist does. So what I will do is this. I will have the metronome going from the beginning to 55. If you hear me in 53 and 54, you're like, oh dang, she's not with the metronome anymore. Yeah, you're right, I'm slowing down, but I can't do like all these things at the same time. I'm already playing the cello. What I'll do then is I'm going to kind of edit this video so that starting at 55 though, you will stop hearing the metronome because there's a lot of tempo changes after that because you have to speed up. So you'll stop hearing the metronome, but I will go back to the beginning and continue the rest of the song, but it'll just be without the metronome. Just wanted to give you a heads up. If I were to practices and I wasn't with this particular recording, what I would do is this. I would practice it maybe with the video, but then practice certain sections because a lot of this depends on what is your conductor doing at that moment in time. So that whole section of 57 to the end of 64, you gotta watch. And luckily you just have quarter notes. So this is just one of those pieces where it works better in a rehearsal, but at least there's some kind of track to help you out with. So without further ado, here is the cello part from El Toro by Don Brubaker.
Now I will show you how to do the solo part in measures, measure 56. Of course, this is optional. So if you look underneath the first A that you have, this is not going to be an open A. You're going to want to play an open A, but it's not an open A. You actually are going to be in third position. So you're going to have your first finger on the fourth tape, pair of tapes and then you'll place your three fingers. That's the same note as your open A. So you're gonna play three fingers there. If you see, you play open A and you get to be flexible with that tempo. You actually don't wanna play it like straight written like it is. You want to play flexi. Flexi tempo? Flexi? Did I just make a new word? I'm pretty sure I did. Here's what it'll sound like. Or you can kind of play around and make your own version of it as well. And then you kind of want to make it a little bit more exciting, but then you're like, oh no, I have to move my fingers. So the fingering is stay in third. finger will be going. So it's in normal tempo, not flexi tempo. It'll sound so if you did that in your own flexi tempo it'd be and you real dry like make that make it juicy. So that's how you would play that. Do not play it in first position. Play it up in position, third and fourth position. I hope that helps. I'll play it for you really quickly if I were to play it. Of course, I'm not a cellist. It would sound better from an actual cellist. But I'll show you basically how you would put it together. cellos. I hope you enjoy it. Keep practicing. Bye!